All right, it's Maintenance Monday, but today we're going to do things a little bit different. Instead of talking about maintenance today, we're going to go backwards to some function. We've missed a couple weeks with Functional Fridays, but we're going to get back on it today. So if you can confidently say without question that you can pick up anything in your everyday life, a box of paper, the laundry off the floor, you can pick those things up and you've never experienced any pain with that, just watch this video and learn something about lifting that hopefully keeps you that way and keeps you from ever having pain while doing simple tasks like picking something up. But if you have felt that jolt of lightning going down the back of your leg, that deep ache in the middle of your back or your back locks up and freezes when you go to pick something up off the floor or reach across the table to get something, like and share this video. So all of us know the motion of lifting. Many of us have seen the videos at work where we have to learn the proper lifting technique to do the job so you don't hurt your back, hurt your knee. And many of us have had someone tell us that we're lifting incorrectly when, as far as going to pick up the laundry basket and stuff like that. And it's typically because we are doing it wrong. And if you continue to do it wrong, you're going to hurt your back. That's why they're telling you. That's why they have those videos. But I'm here to say that it's even more than what some of those videos tell you. Because I've seen the videos myself. Because I've worked on a loading dock before. I've worked in uh, stocking before. And I've seen the video. It's the same thing. Lift with your legs, not with your back. Make sure you're bending your legs. Make sure you're not making your back do the work. But it's so much more than lift with your legs and don't make your back do the work. Because if you lift with your legs wrong, you make your knees overwork. And so now you have knee pain. Then you go back to lifting with your back. Then you have back pain. It's this vicious cycle going round and round between your back and your knees. All of those lifting videos, all they talk about, use your legs, use your legs, don't use your back, you don't use your back. But the one thing they never say is keep your head up. Like that's the most important part of this whole lifting properly technique because I'm going to show you lifting with your legs. All right, I got my head down. My legs are bending, so that means that my legs are working. But can you see what my back is doing? It's in a position now that I got my hands down here to pick up the object. It has rounded itself off. My back is in a position where it potentially is going to have to work. So we're going to keep going with this lift. I'm using my legs, I'm using my legs, I'm using my legs, I'm using my legs. My legs can't work anymore. They've gotten as straight as they can get, but my head is down. Now I have to come back up. I use my head, I come up, my back just worked. Because it was in this rounded off position, so that last little bit of work to come up straight, my back just had to do that job. And yeah, that's it's only a little bit. Your back had to work just a little bit. But just think, you're doing this over and over and over again that work before you know it your back is going to get tired those little small packages that you do this over and over again with the laundry basket that you're picking up and carrying up and downstairs over and over throughout the day that little bit of motion your back is working your back is doing that job and by the end of the day your back hurts and then you have that potential chance for that one time when you do it the back just locks up because it says You've made me do this all day. I need help. I'm not supposed to be doing this job. But those uh, videos for lifting techniques, they just said lift with your legs. You've been lifting with your legs, but you've also been lifting with your back. And it's just simply because your head was down. If your head is down, your back is going to go down. So what you want to do, first move, you want to keep your head up. Go down, grab the object. I know a lot of you are going to say, but I got to see what it is that I'm picking up. Okay, I get that. You go down, you look, you see, you get your hands on it. You bring your head up first because now your back is back in that erect alignment. My legs are working. My legs are working. I'm done. My back never had to do anything. And it's simply because I kept my head up. So always remember that head down, back down. Head up, you're going to save your back. Straight down. And straight back up. There are also those of us who have not the issue with their back when they're lifting, but the issue of their knees when they go to lift and pick something up. They keep their back perfectly straight. They get real close to the object, but then they get here and they can't come back up. And it's because of their knees. It's not because of their back, because look, their back is completely straight. They have nothing, nothing is hindering their back from coming up, but their knees, their knees are so far out over their toes that to get back up, the hamstrings aren't really giving much work or much help. The glutes aren't really giving much help. And they go to come up and then their knees have to do all this work. And it's because, like I said, the hamstrings, 
and the glutes aren't working and they're not working because when you're down here in this position with your knees so far forward, your heels aren't on the floor. And if your heels aren't on the floor, your hamstrings and your glutes can't work as effectively as they should to help you out in this motion. So we got to get back here where the heels of your foot are down. Your hamstrings and your glutes are working now because they're in that work position and they can help you come back up out of that lift. Right, so the way you want to practice this to make sure you can have that perfect lifting form when you're picking something up off the floor. First, you want to get a chair. That way you have a cue to know exactly what your body should be doing because when we go to sit down in the chair, we almost do a perfect squat. We reach our butt back for the chair, but we flop down. We let the muscles stop working and then we flop. And that's the whole reason why when we sit in chairs, we flop. Either the muscles aren't strong enough to help you slowly go down and support it, or we just don't care and we're just lazy and we just do it. But either way, the motion that we go when we go to sit is just about perfect. Like I said, you reach, and that's the squat position right there. My heels are down, my butt is back. That's a squat. So if you take that and use that as your cue for picking something up, I'm gonna go to sit in a chair, reach down, grab what I wanna pick up. You hover right above the chair and then come back up. And that's a perfect squat to go to lift and pick something up off the floor. A simpler way to put this is you would never go into a gym, get on a squat machine, put weight on your neck and do that squat and let your heels come off the floor, your toes come forward like this and have your head down. You would never do a squat in the gym like that because you know that it's gonna cause you serious damage because you're not doing it right, your form is off. It's the same thing with doing a squat to pick something up off the floor. You don't wanna have your knees going forward, your head down because now you don't have control of gravity. The gravity has more control of you and you try to come up and again, your knees overwork, they go out, they freeze up, your back goes out, it locks up, and you're stuck there. And it's simply because you didn't use that form to do it correctly. You used a form that you would never use to lift weights in the gym or to do a squat in the gym. You got to think of it the same way. The same form that you would do a squat in the gym with weight on your neck, you got to use that same form to do a squat to pick weight up off the floor. They're the same motion, they're both squats. We gotta do them right. You gotta think of those everyday functional uh, activities as exercise activities. Because last time I checked, weight is weight, work is work. Whether it's in the gym or at home. And if you don't do it right, you're gonna cause problems, you're gonna have pain. Another part of lifting that gets a lot of us is the reaching element when it comes to lifting. So I got 10 pounds of weight in here right now and I'm walking, I'm carrying this weight, now I have to reach and I need to put it down somewhere. So many of us don't think about that core, you know, you, you, you had to know I was coming with this, but you take the weight, you reach it away from your body, and you go to put it down and it does that number to you and wants to yank you forward and yank you down with it when you go to put it down, and it's because your core wasn't working. Your core wasn't doing this job, and if your core isn't doing this job, you take this 10 pounds of weight real close to your body, you reach it out, you make your back do that work, and you'll know if your back is doing it, because for one, if you can just push into your stomach and it gives and you can push into your gut, we've said it before, the back is doing all that work. But that 10 pounds of, four, of weight that you got in this basket without your core feels like about 100 pounds of work happening on your back because gravity is pulling this down. Those muscles in your back are tiny. They're not big enough. They're not strong enough to do the work of supporting weight out here, so you gotta remember when you're reaching weight away from your body, your core has to be doing that job to help. Don't get stuck in this number here, letting your back do this work to support this 100 pounds, what it feels like to it, when it can just feel like 10 pounds to your core. Make your core do its job so that that way your back does not hate you later. Remember, like and share these videos, Help somebody else save their back from potential pain that they don't need to be having. Be fit, be functional, be blessed.